Okay, here I'm with my meteorite that I'm going to write a report on for my book, DNA of the Gods. And this is an 80 gram meteorite. Um, this is a six inch ruler but I'm going to use the millimeter and centimeter part. So, um, it's like five and a half centimeters. And we have three point two five centimeters. So density is mass over volume. So that's the first investigation is uh, we're going to have the color, mass, and density of this meteorite. And um, I have another meteorite that I suspect is Mars in origin. And uh, I can't get anyone to test them. Uh, it's the approach or the uh, they don't want to touch anything regarding a Mars meteorite they'll test meteorites they won't test um, so I'm going to continue to look for laboratories to test these things I, I don't know why they believe it's controversial or if they're going to be involved in some kind of question of their sanity even which is absolutely ridiculous um, the only thing that is somewhat uh, involved is if you start uh, a line of scientific inquiry you have to write it up into a hypothesis paper which I have done and so most people steer away from, well, I'm, I'm curious about these rocks or whatever it is, bones. I don't feel like writing about paper. So that's the difference between different lines of questioning. You could write a book that's just all questions. You can write a book that has no questions, no hypothesis, it's just statements of fact. But this is an unknown. So there's lots of questions. Um, right away, it's uh, I could tell it's got a it's got a, a density that is um, uh, unusual. So I'm going to get into that. Uh, it, it's not corresponding to any kind of a like a rock, like a terrestrial rock, but it has signs of entering into the atmosphere so like it's not pumice from a volcano obviously so uh, anyway further uh, analysis will be in my book called DNA of the Gods